Hello and welcome to Afternoon Live. There is a live look from the Unico U.S. Bank Core Tower over downtown Portland. I'm Karen Mack and we've got a wonderful Wednesday show store in store for you. You know our next guest from the Goldbergs, Groundhog Day, One Day at a Time, Archer, and so much more. His latest movie, Haul Out the Holly, is airing now on Hallmark. We welcome back to Afternoon Live, the one and only Stephen Tobolowski is with us here. I Afternoon. I'm here with me, like here. I'm it's so, so excited exciting. to have you. I've not met you in person yet. I've, we've talked over the screen, and I have to say, when you showed up, I was like, he's a lot taller than I thought. Well, <laughs> I, I'm much taller than I am on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just only this tall on Zoom. So true. How are you? I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm so happy to be in Portland. It's one of my favorite cities. I have so many great memories from. You don't know this. I don't even think Steve knows this. He's the pro yeah. producer guy around here. But this is the city I came when I was dating my wife, Anne. Now, we've been married 34 years. <laughs> <laughs> but we came to Portland here, <clears throat> and uh, it was one of the first romantic trips we took together. Saw the Rose Garden, saw, went to the zoo. Y you know, we did all the wonderful things here in Portland, and it's a special place for us. When you were just dating before you got married? When we were dating. Okay. But we were serious. Oh, obviously. If you're taking her to the Rose Garden, I mean, no guy just takes a woman up to the Rose Garden no, and not being no, serious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Well, Balco, <laughs> it's so good to have you. You know, I had some problems there in the intro, because does it bother you when people say Groundhog's Day? <laughs> I'm one of those people that I have to, like, check myself. Me too. People <laughs> laugh when I go, Groundhog, I was in Groundhog's Day, and they go, no, it's Groundhog Day. <laughs> and you, you know, should know this. Of I all should know this, movie, but I, I, mean. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> I always have to try. Stop on that one. And then Haul Out the Holly, I just kind of want to sing it. And I'm not allowed to sing because we don't have rights to music here. But, I mean, you're in this new show. And on the it Hallmark wasn't Channel. the original title. Oh. The original title was The Heart of Christmas. Okay. And, and what does that say to you? You know, it uh, titles infer a kind of thing. But when we started shooting it, it became so kind of lively and funny that while we were shooting it, they changed the title from Heart of Christmas to Haul Out the Holly, which has a little bit more of a zing to it. Oh, for sure more personality. I would actually think that Hallmark Channel has already made a Heart of Christmas movie before. You would think. You would think. This looks like a lot of fun. Tell me it about was, that cast. Oh, it was a ton of fun. It was a great cast. We had a lot of fun. Uh, what we did was, what people don't understand is, whenever you're shooting something at night, when you see night, that means the actors were up all night shooting that, right? It isn't like... Mm. We're normal people, and we shoot it at 8, 9 o'clock at night, then we go back and watch the football game and go to bed. To get those shots of parties at night or lighting the Christmas, I think we lit the Christmas tree at about 4 in the morning. Oh, wow. And we, so you have to have full <laughs> energy, comic energy, everything at 4 in the morning to do that. In Utah. In, Exhausting. In, in what month? The middle, the, well, it was the hot month. All I know is Utah has the <laughs> hot months and the cold months. So this was very much the hot month. And uh, we are t the temperature shooting this movie was between 100 and 113. And we're wearing wow. all these Christmas clothes. So we love night shoots. Even though it was <laughs> 4 in the morning, it was only 80 degrees. But, oh. but what they did is they put white cloth on the ground. And they said, we may not even have to add snow because it may look enough like snow to make it look like snow. Or if we do have to do something, we'll do it in the laboratory afterwards and add something that looks like snow. It's all science now. It's all science. Does that amaze you? I mean, being in this career for so long, what they can just do and poof? It, it's, it's all so make-believe, which makes it so incredibly real. It's like what we do, like in Hall Half the Holly, the celebrations, the parties, everything we did on screen, felt so real because everything we were doing was so unreal right. in the middle of Utah, in the middle of the blazing heat, wearing tons of sweaters and hats and uh, trying not to, <laughs> people, were, people were saying like, we have this special liquid given to a med, from the medic so you don't pass out from <laughs> la lack of hydration. Right. You know, so we're like, you know, getting IVs, you yeah. know, okay, okay, here we go. Let's haul out some more holly. It was it was amazing but we had so much fun everybody had a good time and the number of projects that you have that much fun on you could kind of count on one hand really because 
everybody was wonderful to work with, everybody a great, wonderful director, delightful producers. So, is, I mean, I have nothing crappy to say about it except, <laughs> except that in Utah they closed the bar at midnight. And so when you do a night shoot, <laughs> You, you, you go to a Denny's or a breakfast place in the morning and get you, some pancakes. You, 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 you're, you're out of luck with a, with a nightcap. You're, you're out of luck. <laughs> you know, you've been in so many things. Can you tell when someone approaches you by what they're kind of are looking at you for, or what they're going to say, oh, Steven Tobolowski, and what they're going to identify Usually you they go, they go like, oh, my gosh, um, what do I know you from? <laughs> and I have to look at them and do like a, termina a Terminator scan, Arnold Schwarzenegger, of like <laughs> to see like what like if you were to ask me, yeah. it would either be Groundhog Day. I'd say yeah. that she knows me from Groundhog Day or Haul Out the Holly. Yeah, you're, you're I look like the Hallmark Channel. Yeah, watcher. You're, you're, you're definitely. <laughs> haul, uh, it would not be Californication. True, you know, but I, I would that say is like, what I have not but seen. But if you came up to me and you had tattoos or neck tattoos, I'd go, Californication, that's right. <laughs> that's <laughs> what you know me from. Yeah, you know, so it, it's interesting that, and heartening that the people know me from so many things. Uh, I'm very lucky, and, and they know me from nothing and from so many things at the same time. It, it's, it, it's a career that I never could have imagined having, you know. Yeah. Even with animation, uh, doing Archer, and I do Loud House. I'm the mm -hmm. principal on Loud House. And the, the, one of the greatest ones I got, I was in line at a movie theater, and someone in line, that was when we had movie theaters. I know, right? And people stood in lines. Yeah. And the person in front of me turned around and said, weren't you the calculator in Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars? I was the voice of the calculator, wow, he but because he heard my voice in line, he goes, yeah, brave little toaster goes to Mars. <laughs> That's you. That's your voice. So yeah, people recognize me from all sorts of things. Oh, I know you have a plane to catch, but we can't let you go uh -oh. without talking about your beautiful granddaughter. Oh, baby Dior. Uh, this child uh, grows in, oh, oh so <laughs> look cute. at this darling. She it's grows so in, cute. like in one week, uh, when she was much younger, than, here she's two. Yeah. She, when she was about eight months old, in one week she learned how to say no, unlock the door, <laughs> and run. So our whole life changed. Oh, I can't now, imagine. now she's she's oh. talking. Oh, she's into bling. She's into <laughs> bling. Like she she just goes crazy. She saw some of my wife's jewels, and and so now. Annie uh, came with me when I did a show. And, oh, here she is with my dad. Dad is 100 Your years dad? old. No. 100 <gasps> years old. He oh, can't wow. see. He oh. can't hear. But this moment made him so enormously happy that when I visit him afterwards, he talks like that was one of the greatest. Here he is. He cannot walk. He cannot see. He cannot hear. And when I visit him to this day, he says, one of the greatest moments of my life was holding Dior in my lap. Oh my goodness. Now what does that say about life and mm -hmm. and the connection of one generation to another? It was his one of his greatest moments. And he couldn't even register really what it was except he felt her there and knew that that was part of the chain of life that he had started many years ago. That's so incredible. That's so and it, I'm so glad that you could stop by. Oh, with my us pleasure. Today. I wish we had so much more time. So please, next time you're in Portland, come be with us. I'd love to. <laughs> I have I'd so many to. more questions. I so love yes. this place. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys, we're going to have more information about Stephen on our website. And haul out the holly. you got to check it out on the Hallmark Channel. But don't go away. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.